friends in this presentation we shall discuss about exports reserve bank of india instructions master circular and method of payment in terms of para 2.52 of the foreign trade policy all export contracts and invoices shall be denominated either in freely convertible currency or indian rupees but export proceeds shall be realized in freely convertible currency however export proceeds against specific exports may also be realized in rupees provided it is through a freely convertible vostra account of a non resident bank situated in any country other than a member country of asian clearing union acu or nepal or bhutan indian rupees is not a freely convertible currency as yet the amount representing the full export value of the goods exported shall be received through an ad bank in the manner specified in foreign exchange management regulations 2000 notified on 3rd may 2000 amount is to be realized in the following manner a bank draft pay order bankers or personal checks foreign currency notes foreign currency traveler's checks from the buyer during his visit to india payment out of funds held in the fcnr or nre account maintained by the buyer international credit card of the buyer when payment for goods sold to overseas buyers during their visits is received in this manner edf duplicate should be released by the ad category 1 banks only on receipt of funds in their nostro account or if the ad category 1 bank concerned is not the credit card servicing bank on production of a certificate by the exporter from the credit card servicing bank in india to the effect that it has received the equivalent amount in foreign exchange ad category 1 bank may also receive the payment for exports made out of india by debit to a credit card of an importer where reimbursement from the card issuing bank or organization will be received in foreign exchange trade transactions can also be settled in the following manner all transactions between a person resident in india and a person resident in nepal or bhutan may be settled in indian rupees however in case of export of goods to nepal where the importer has been permitted by the nepal rashtriya bank to make the payment in foreign free foreign exchange such payment shall be routed through the acu mechanism in precious metals that is gold silver platinum by the gems and jewelry units in special economic zones or eous equivalent to the value of jewelry exported on the condition that the sale contract provides the same and the approximate value of the precious metals in indicated in the relevant edf forms processing of export related receipts through online payment gateway service providers authorized dealer category 1 banks have been allowed to offer the facility of repatriation of export related remittances by entering into standing arrangements with online payment gateway system service providers subject to the following conditions the ad category 1 banks offering this facility shall carry out the due diligence of the opgsp this facility shall only be available for export of goods and services 
of value not exceeding US dollar 10,000. Iran, we should see the latest situation after agreement on 13 July 2015. In view of the difficulties being experienced by importers exporters in payments to receive from Iran, it has been decided that with effect from December 27, 2010, all the eligible current account transactions including trade transactions with Iran should be settled in any permitted currency outside the ACU mechanism until further notice. Third party payments Third party payments for export and import transactions taking into account the evolving international trade practices it has been decided to permit third party payments for export and import transactions can be made subject to the conditions as under. Firm irrevocable order backed by a tripartite agreement should be in place. However, it may not be insisted upon in cases where the documentary evidence for circumstances leading to third party payments, names in third party being mentioned in the irrevocable order invoice has been produced subject to AD bank should be satisfied with the bona fides of the transaction and export documents such as invoice FIRC. AD bank should consider the FATF statements while handling such transaction. Third party payments should be routed through the banking channels only. The exporter should declare the third party remittance in the export declaration form and it would be responsibility of the exporter to realize and repatriate the export proceeds from such third party named in EDF. It would be responsibility of the exporter to realize and repatriate the export proceeds from such third party named in the EDF. Diamond Dollar Account under the scheme of Government of India, firms and companies dealing in purchase and sale of rough or cut and polished diamonds, precious metal, jewelry plain, minakari and studded with or without diamond and or other stones with a track record of at least two years in import and export of diamonds, colored gemstones, diamonds and colored gemstone studded jewelry plain gold jewelry and having an average annual turnover of rupees 3 crore or above during the preceding three licensing years April to March are permitted to transact their business through diamond dollar accounts. They may be allowed to open not more than five diamond dollar accounts with their banks. Eligible firms and companies may apply for permission to the AD category 1 banks in the format prescribed. AD 1 banks are required to submit quarterly reports to the foreign exchange department. Trade fair exhibitions abroad. EDF approval for trade fair exhibition abroad firms and companies and other organizations participating in trade fair exhibition abroad can take or export the goods for exhibition and sale outside India without the prior approval of Reserve Bank. Unsold exhibit items may be sold outside the exhibition trade fair in the same country or in third country. Such sales at discounted value are also permissible. It would also be permissible to gift unsold goods up to the value of US dollar 5000 per exporter, per exhibition, per trade fair. AD Category 1 Banks may approve EDF of export items for display or display come sale in trade fairs and exhibitions outside India subject to the following. 
the exporter shall produce relative bill of entry within one month of re-import into India of the unsold items. Direct dispatch of documents by the exporter. AD Category 1 banks should normally dispatch the shipping documents to their overseas branches or correspondents expeditiously. However, they may dispatch shipping documents direct to the consignees or their agents resident in the country of final destination of the goods in cases where advance payment or an irrevocable letter of credit has been received for the full value of the export shipment and the underlying sale contract or letter of credit provides for dispatch of documents direct to the consignee or his agent resident in the country of final destination of the goods. The AT category 1 banks may also accede to the request of the exporter provided the exporter is a regular customer and the AD1 category bank is satisfied on the basis of standing and trade record of the exporter and arrangements have been made for realization of the export proceeds. AD category 1 banks may also permit status holder exporter as defined in the foreign trade policy and units in special economic zones SEZ to dispatch the export documents to the consignee outside India subject to the terms and conditions that the export proceeds are repatriated through the AD banks named in the ADF. The duplicate copy of the ADF is submitted to the AD bank for monitoring purposes by the exporters within 21 days from the shipment of the export. AD Category 1 banks may regularize cases of dispatch of shipping documents by the exporter direct to the consignee or his agent resident in the country of the final destination of the goods up to US dollar 1 million or its equivalent per export shipment subject to the following conditions. The export proceeds have been realized in full. The exporter is a regular customer of AD1 bank for a period of at least 6 months. The exporter's account with the AD1 category bank is fully compliant with the Reserve Bank's extent KYC or AML guidance. The AD1 bank is satisfied about the bona fides of the transaction. In case of doubt, the AD Category 1 bank may consider filing suspicious transaction report STR with FIU IND write-off in cases of payments of claim by ECGC. Write-off in cases of payment of claims by ECGC and private insurance companies regulated by Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority IRDA. AD1 categories banks shall on an application received from the exporter supported by documentary evidence from the ECGC and privileged insurance companies regulated by IRDA confirming that the claim in respect of the outstanding bills has been settled by them right of the relative export bills and delete it from their XOS statement. Such right of will not be restricted to the limit of 10% indicated above. Surrender of the incentives if any in such cases will be as provided in the foreign trade policy. The claims settled in rupees by ECGC and private insurance companies regulated by IRDA should not be construed as export realization in foreign exchange. Refund of export proceeds. Refund of export proceeds. AD Category 1 banks 
through whom the export proceeds were originally realized may consider request for refund of export proceeds of goods exported from India and being re-imported into India on account of poor quality. While permitting such transactions, AD Category 1 banks are required to exercise due diligence regarding the track record of the exporter, verify the bona fides of the transactions, obtain from the exporter a certified certificate issued by DGFT or customs authorities that no incentives have been availed by the exporter against the relevant export or the proportionate incentives availed, if any, for the relevant export have been surrendered. Obtain an undertaking from the exporter that the goods will be re-imported within three months from the date of remittance and ensure that all procedures as applicable to the normal imports are adhered to. Follow up of overdue bills, AD Category 1 banks should closely watch realization of the bills and in cases where bills remain outstanding beyond the due date of payment from the date of export. The matter should be promptly taken up with the concerned exporter. If the exporter fails to arrange the delivery of the proceeds within the stipulated period of or seek extension of time beyond the stipulated period, the matter should be reported to the regional office concerned of the Reserve Bank stating where possible that the reason for the delay in realizing the proceeds. Reduction in invoice value in other cases. If after a bill has been negotiated or sent for collection, it amounts to be reduced for any reason, AD Category 1 banks may approve such reduction if satisfied about the genuineness of the request provided. The reduction does not exceed 25% of the invoice value. It does not relate to the export of commodities subject to floor price stipulations. The exporter is not on the exporter's caution list of the Reserve Bank and the exporter is advised to surrender the proportionate export incentives availed of, if any. In the case of exporters who have been in the export business for more than three years, reduction in invoice value may be allowed without any percentage ceiling, subject to the above conditions as also subject to their track record being satisfactory. That is, the export outstanding do not exceed 5% of the average annual export realization during the preceding three financial years. Agency Commission on Exports AD Category 1 banks may allow payment of commission either by remittance or by deduction from invoice value on application submitted by the exporter. The remittance on agency commission may be allowed subject to the conditions as under. The amount of commission has been declared on the EDF or soft tax form and accepted by the customs authority or ministry of information technology government of india epz authorities as the case may be in cases where the commission has not been declared on edf soft tax form remittance may be allowed after satisfying the reasons adduced by the exporter for not declaring commission on export declaration form provided a valid agreement, written understanding between the exporters and or beneficiary for payment of commission exists. The relative shipment has already been made. 